Hi, I'm Emily and I'm the Stroller Mom. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Oslin Entourage, which is a stroller you may not have heard of, but need to know about. This stroller is currently in its single mode and it has the option to be a double as well as a sit and stand, which is super unique. So this would fall into those single to double strollers. And it is similar to the Bugaboo Donkey in the fact that it expands. So I'll show how to do that real quick. There's two different settings. This stroller is made to haul, which is so cool. And be sure to stay through the end of the video while I tell you how this stroller has actually changed my life as a mom of two. So jumping in, we're gonna have the single mode here, which is what you currently see. And this is retails at just under $1,100. So it is definitely an expensive stroller, but I will say it is a quality stroller. I have been so impressed with the quality of this stroller. And even compared to some of the other single to double strollers I have used, this stroller is easy to push. It is easy to attach all the different pieces to use, to navigate. And there's a lot of really cool features that make this stroller great to be used from birth. So starting in, we have this market basket. And like I said, the stroller is made to haul. So this basket here can expand and it can hold up to 35 pounds just in the basket. So if you wanna go grocery shopping and not have your child in the dirty shopping cart, this stroller can do that. Plus you have the basket here, which can hold 65 pounds just in the basket, but the lower frame can hold up to 100 pounds. So if you have a big cooler and you're a soccer mom, or they even sell a cargo bag that you can attach to your single stroller, this thing can haul. Your luggage, look on their website, they have so many different configurations of how you can load this stroller up. And I have definitely put it to a test a few times as well. So this market bag is really nice. There's cup holders, and then I also do have the cup holder on here. And then you have this really nice, nice single seat. The one thing I will say about the single mode is it is because it can do all those things and grow with your family, it is a little bit bigger than most single strollers, even the single to doubles. So that is something to be aware of, but it's because it's made to haul, it's so sturdy. The second thing to be aware of in the single mode is the front seat cannot face towards you. However, I have found that that is not necessarily the end of the world in this in this setup so i will show you you still get your baby really close to you it has a very nice mesh peekaboo window that you can see your baby very clearly on they do sell car seat adapters for both the upper section and the lower so the stroller could work for twins um and then here you have the seat so i currently have the seat with the snack tray it does come with this leatherette bar i just bought the snack tray because it's wonderful and that's the stage of life I'm in. <laughs> um, and then I also have the seat liner, which I think makes the stroller so aesthetically pleasing. I really like that. And it's nice just from a cleaning standpoint. They have a really cool like leather type detailing on the footrest of this stroller, which is amazing because that's where your kid's shoes are and it gets so dirty, so it's easy to clean. I've not seen that on a lot of strollers, but this stroller can turn into a bassinet. It has a full flat recline in its single mode. And it has a nice little mesh peekaboo window for added airflow, a really good canopy. I mean, I am so impressed with this canopy and I love that the extension you can tuck in when your child's older or extend it. And then it also does have a bassinet mode. So you can take this snack tray off and then you can go on ahead and pull out. There's like a piece here that then holds the stroller up into a bassinet mode for when your baby is first born. And bassinets are actually safer, like the full flat recline is actually better for your baby's development than using a car seat. So it does have car seat adapters, which is super nice. So that is the stroller in the single mode. But to be honest with you, I think where the money is at is in the double modes. And so I will show you those now. The next mode, you can buy the stroller in this next mode I'm going to show you. Or if you decided to buy it as a single to grow with your family, you can purchase the second seat as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take this market basket off and move my cup. And we can make it into a double. So I'm going to expand it to the second setting. So there's three settings in the expanding and I will grab this second seat. So something to note with the second seat is it is smaller. So you, can, you can use it starting at six months old because it doesn't have that full flat recline. Um, and then it does have a weight capacity of, I think it is 35 pounds. I will add a little note if that's not the case, but I'm pretty sure it's 35 pounds. So it goes right here and this one does face towards you, which is so nice. They are so easy to, to push in and install. It goes right here and you can actually have it fairly reclined. I think I might need to expand it a little bit. Here we go. Let's see. 
So you can have it upright in a sitting position or you can have it fairly far back. But again, you see it's not that flat recline. It has a nice canopy, a peekaboo window there, and that's the second seat. It does face towards you, which is super nice. And I have, because of my age gap with my kids, this, this has not been a configuration I've used a ton. However, my sister did borrow this stroller. She watched my kids for a week. And she had an 18 month old in the front seat and my baby who was like 13 months old in this seat and she loved it. She said it was really nice to have her super close. She was comfortable, she could see her. The sun coverage was good with the canopy and then having the other baby there, right? They weren't ready for the next mode, which I'm about to show you called the, the, the sit and stand mode that I love. They needed the seats. And so this is just really nice to how it can grow with your family. This mode I have not mentioned yet is just under $1,300. So it is definitely, expensive but it is quality it is something that i have been just really impressed with the other thing i will say is it can fold the smallest fold i have seen in a, a single to double stroller with both seats in a four um not a it's not a side by side the um forward configuration so i will show you how to do that real quickly so you can see that it folds so compact with its two seats i actually have a picture and i'll insert it of the this stroller with both seats attached next to the Mockingbird, which is going to be semi-similar to what you're going to see with the Vista as well. And this can fit in just about any trunk. I will say sometimes, if you watch the car mom, like sometimes it's hard to get the strollers with all the seats and everything attached in the back of a trunk, especially a trunk with a smaller, like a minivan or an expedition that has a smaller trunk. This stroller can fit and you can take the front wheels off too, which is really cool. So super easy to take this seat off when you're ready to store it or move to the next mode, which is my favorite mode. This is the mode that I, it has just been so impressive to me with this stroller. It is a sit and stand, which it was not even on my radar when I was pregnant with my second child. If you have a toddler who's older, I would say two, two and a half, this mode is a game changer. It makes the biggest difference. So you can have the bassinet, and then this provides a place for your toddler who still, still likes to walk, still likes to have a little bit of that independence, but needs to ride or needs a break, or you need to have them in your line of sight. So I will show you, it's super easy to install. And then you have this second seat here and you can have it pulled back at the smaller settings. There's cup holders on both sides and I should mention the price of this. This one is like 1370. So it is just a little bit more than the double mode. Um, if you have an older toddler, I would highly recommend going with this mode over the double mode, just because you still have the seat buckle. Obviously your child needs to be about two and a half and you know your child. You'll know if this independence is gonna be really good for them or if they need the seat because you could put your younger baby, you could do the car seat adapter on top. And then once they get a little, once they get to six months, you could use the double seat. So there's lots of different options there. I will say if you use my links, um, in the bio, you get a $50 credit on top of whatever discount they're using. So be sure to check those out um, as well. So this is the sit and stand model. My daughter loves it. It has been a game changer for our family. She can easily fit under the handlebar. You can see here she's standing on the footboard there and she can also sit. She can put her cup holders in. I still have access to the basket. I have my cup holder and my baby can still be here. We can do the bassinet mode. You can put the car seat adapters on there or you can have them sitting, which is what we've been using honestly all the time right now. And it folds really compact with the sit and stand as well. And I've just been so happy with that feature and I can move it so easily back and forth when she's not riding and have it be that smaller stroller. And honestly, the push of the stroller is smooth. Like I am not running in, I've done it on gravel, I've done it on wood chips, grass, like a bunch of different terrains. Is it the same as like an air filled jogging stroller? No, but is it much better than like the Mockingbird and the Vista? Yes, and it's because it has these crossbars and it's made to haul. And that's just something to be aware of. It is also really nice that it just like can be more compact based off your needs. I have also taken this stroller to my husband's soccer games and I used to struggle to fit all the things because I like to bring a playpen so my baby can be out but not running away or trying to run into the soccer game because there's not a lot of clearance on the side of the soccer fields. And so being able to put my playpen and my chairs and my giant diaper bag and my toy bag, like all those things fit so nicely in here. We've taken it to Costco. The cargo bag, if you are sports parents and you have a bigger gap in your kids or your older kids are playing sports, this could be a game changer with the cargo bag. So that is just something to be aware of. Okay, so who is the stroller best for? Well, it does have a very steep price tag. You can see it can do a lot. And there, I really have very few complaints. I mean, other than it being a little bit heavy, which it is a little bit heavy loading in and out of your trunk, I'm really happy with it. 
the fold is really compact for a stroller like this. It kind of honestly reminds me a little bit of a wagon. So I would say this stroller is best for people with two kids or who are going to have two kids, right? I think that's where you get your money's worth and being able to use the second seat or use the sit and stand feature. I would also say that this is great for those sports parents or people who just need to haul things. You're a working mom and you need to have, you have boxes and things that you need to take places. This is great. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below. I'm happy to help if you're on the fence or you're trying to figure out which of the modes is best for you. I'm happy to help with that. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video. And if you decide to buy it, purchase through the link below, you'll get $50 off. Thank you so much for watching.